they look like they've got the energy that I was looking for in this one. Pressure coming. Justin Blackman, the Boletnikoff winner, with his first catch of the night. Shaquille Richards wide receivers. If you don't hug them close underneath like they're doing right here, you're going to get beaten. It's going to be a long night. That catch was 9 of 10. Blackman. <laughs> Blackman. Dragged out of bounds by a foot. At offenses, they get the football into the hands of their playmakers on the perimeter of the field in one-on-one -on -one situations. If you cannot tackle in space, you do. This is flavor. And educate some of the guys about the Lone Star State. Brandon Weed and Blackman is by himself. He'll take his time and score eventually. Touchdown, folks. To come and he's just gonna miss and and he's thinking that there's a safety over the top to help there's nobody back there you cannot let a player with that kind of skills in blackman get past seconds you see how he squatted there golden just squatted like he had somebody over the top well, nobody's back there it was a double move by justin blackman and that forced golden to sit down and squat <laughs> and he was able to get in he said hey how about if i play a little college football and it's worked out beautifully but this time brandon throws it in to a world of traffic. Joe Perkins is back there. It'll be... And Blackman has it again. I saw a 71-yard touchdown from the Boletnikoff winner earlier tonight, but not much running room this time. But Blackman says he, he's learned from that mistake. This time a darn, it is well covered. He was looking for Blackman. It was Robert Golden. Knock, he's pitching it deep. Blackman's out there. Dustin Blackman had it in his hands, and he dropped it. This is a great coverage on the outside. It looks like Robert Golden actually tugged on Justin Blackman's jersey a little bit. They have a flag. Oh, we do have the flag down yeah. across the way. I didn't see That's the, That right there, yesterday when we met with Whedon and we talked with Blackman, and they talked about coming back, whether or not they'd come back. Blackman's out there again. This time he overshot it. What makes him a great deep ball thrower to Blackman is that Blackman normally goes and... Justin trying to get away. He's knocked down by Trevin Wade. You know, he'll be stopped short of the first down. Craig. And it is caught by Blackman. Now, see, Reese, this is the difference in Brandon Whedon when we saw him against AM and now. When he steps up and makes that throw, you see how hard and way with that last catch. Blackman goes over 100 yards. He had a touchdown earlier in the night. 12. This is a ball that Justin Blackman comes down with 10 out of 10 times. You know, I'm watching Brandon Whedon, and guys, earlier in the season, <laughs> but earlier in the season, we were watching Brandon Whedon throw balls, and he was very lazy with his legs at times. Mike Gundy said that was a problem with him throwing it. Watching him tonight, he is in rhythm. The ball is coming out beautifully. This just isn't supposed to be as easy as pitch and catch. This is chemistry between a quarterback and receiver, back shoulder throw, going back, and those hands and the strength to reach out and catch. With the left well, toe to it. Now. The toe apparently touched out golden, wanted the incomplete. Excellent. Excellent. Man, a, that, oh, my goodness. You, you know how strong those hands are? That's unbelievable. You know, Holgerson was telling us before the game that everybody thinks that Blackman's a huge guy, 6'4 or so, because he looks so big and dominant. Whedon was a high draft choice by the Yankees in baseball, spent several years playing baseball, and then came back to college football. And after we met with him yesterday, uh, we asked him if his wife, Melanie, should they flip it? You see Mike Riley at Oregon State used that a lot with uh, James Rogers before he was hurt. Whoever comes in here to be the offensive coordinator next year is going to have... And man, I tell you what, they're going to run the ball next year. Uh, yeah, Blackman, that's right. that's the worry you have about him right there, isn't it? If right. he does